hello guys um welcome back to my channel uh today is a, obviously a very no it's not obvious but um if you haven't seen by the title this is not a recipe video instead i am sharing with you it's one of my tips and advice videos um and in fact i am sharing with you guys a secret or at least i think it's a secret because it doesn't seem like people know about this place and i found a gem i found i found the answer to all our problems guys especially those of you that don't eat fruits and vegetables because you say it's too expensive at pick and pay well guess what i have come to deliver for you wonderful wonderful news i found a place and it's on lynn park rather it's at lynn park center on lynn mid road and they sell fruits <clears throat> i can't even i'm even getting excited talking about it this place sells fruits and vegetables for ridiculously cheap prices and it's not because it's reduced cleared for sale or whatever or it has the red sticker like they they do at pick and pay no 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 it's straight from the farm as in they take it straight from the farm and before they even go anywhere before they go to Woolworths before they go to checkers or pick and pay or spa or what have you or food lovers they go to that shop because it has no labeling you're not paying for a label you're not paying for a name you're not paying for I don't know production um costs that come with having to transport the food from the farm to Woolworths or, and whatnot and whatever other costs they include and that make fruits and vegetables generally more expensive they're not included in this price so in these prices so that's why this shop is so cheap and I decided that since my videos are usually catered to people that are trying to be economically wise and for students these prices are definitely student budget friendly like they, they were selling this is just an example this is one example they were selling beetroot and if you don't like beetroot then that, that's not the point the point is the prices yeah they were selling beetroot a five kg bag of beetroot for 20 rand as in two zero in case you're not clear maybe you thought i said 200 no for 20 rand a five kg bag of beetroot I have my food haul that I'm going to show you um, after I bought these things. Unfortunately, I only discovered this place last year at the end of the year, not even at the beginning. So um, I couldn't buy a lot of the things that I wanted to buy because I was going to move soon and I didn't want to have too many things that I had to take back to Joburg. So I bought things that I knew I was going to manage just to manage, just to manage for like one or two months until I had to go back and move out. So yeah, but if I had, I would have bought the whole store basically these things are very expensive nowadays but i just want i just thought i would share this good news because maybe it'll help you maybe maybe it'll encourage you to eat more fruits and vegetables because maybe you won't have to spend 37 rand on one small bag of apples when you could be buying 10 kotas you know so um yeah this way hopefully i can inspire you guys to buy more fruits and vegetables and like support that shop because wow and like they, they just they have a lot it's not even crazy like I, I I don't know why people don't know about this shop, but I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there, there's the news. There's the news I've shared, and I hope that you guys can go there and buy stuff because you will not regret it. And they also sell like normal priced foods there as well. It's not like they just sell fruits and vegetables, like it's like smelling like cabbage. <laughs> it's not just smelling like spinach and cabbage in there. They sell normal things as well. Um, so I mean you can do your proper shopping there. I've seen restauranters, restauranteurs do their shopping there especially those of you that come from big families tell your mother tell your auntie tell just share the word please share the word because this place deserves the support i mean they, they really helped me and i hope that this video can help you too so um without further ado i hope that you can enjoy the video and let's get into the video so upon entering we're greeted by this wonderful watermelon test station um here i decided to get a half of a watermelon because they were like really big and at checkers this time they were selling watermelons for one for a hundred wow. One kg um, is 29 rand, so I'm saving 12 rand here. 12 rand, a whole 12 rand. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. 
400 grams. Usually you'd get 70, you'd pay 70 rand. This is really cheap. Look at that. 3 for 15. I'm getting the money. For sure. And I eat cucumber very quickly. Uh, you make up 5 rand for one. Am I getting crazy? I'm getting crazy. Very, very, very I'm paying five rand for one. Hi. How much are, are, are these? Oh, 30. Is, is, it, is it 30? Are these 30 rand? Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing you, you have to come here. You really have to. And they sell plants. I want to get that plant. Mercury when did Band you find shopping? It? I think it's just the end. Them driving and then, I don't know. Um, I got this for, I can't believe this, for 40 rand for this huge bag of apples. I got this big box of pineapple for, how much was that again? 40 rand also now. And these tomatoes. I also got watermelon for 40 this big thing this yeah your three cucumbers for 12 rand that obviously I couldn't finish you know for those of you that are scared that you might not be able to finish your things in time before they arrive and whatnot I actually filmed a video of how you can ensure that you keep your foods to last for longer and not waste food and that included meal prepping like chopping up your vegetables keeping them in um, plastic resealable bags in the freezer and just having your vegetables ready to be used so that you're not discouraged to use them as well that's basically what i'm doing here i did that to my spinach because i bought a lot of sorry my spinach my um beetroot leaves because i bought a lot of beetroot like you saw and i decided to repurpose the leaves so that i didn't have to throw them away and they're actually really good for you use them same as you do with spinach and then also for my other things like the apples and my pineapple i just cut them up and keep them in the freezer um pineapple is really nice frozen so i i didn't mind doing that and then with apples because i didn't necessarily like freezing apples i don't like the idea of doing that i actually made a lot and lots of cobbler pies so yeah <laughs> 